Let's take a look at what my Corsair H150i jet engine sounds like. That's it. H150i idle. Yep, firmware's bricked, garbage IQ software, no light on the block, making a right racket. Uh, that's what happens when you press them. When you make the mistake of pressing the update firmware button in IQ, the hardware gets bricked. Garbage software. Hardware is okay when it works, but it is, needs more work doing on it. Software is garbage. If you look at my previous videos, it's a processor hog when it's working and then if you make the mistake of clicking update yeah buggered to 30 minutes of waiting reboot and ramp well as soon as you press the update button the fans ramped up to 100 percent that's where it froze and that's where it's remained can't live like this can't work with this jet engine in the corner Temperatures are fine, so we can bring up the temperatures. Obviously, the temperatures will be fine. There's hardware info. I was monitoring the pump temperature and the fan speed, but they've disappeared. As soon as you press update, they disappeared. Well, 40 degrees for so 5950X is fine, but look at the racket it's making. So what's the solution? Well, I tried rebooting, did not work. I tried switching off the computer, unplugging it and leaving it for an hour, did not work. I tried uh, controlling from BIOS. You know, the fans from BIOS, the pump does not work. It's bricked. So the usual stuff that you would try won't work. So what's next? Well, after searching on Google, I came across this forum. Apparently they solved their bricked course here by following these steps. I'm going to be doing in a future video and see if it works. There's another alternative. It's a lot of steps, seven steps. Hmm. To download, basically what, all right, I'll go through it. Basically you have to download the firmware Restart Windows in safe mode. Make sure no Corsair process are running. Yeah, and then drop the firmware on this file in the folder with IQs installed. So you have to have uh, another thing I tried was uninstalling IQ and doing everything. Then I've, I've reinstalled it, but there's nothing showing. I'll show you what IQ looks like. I don't think I even have it running at the moment. Yeah, there's IQ. Nothing. There's no Corsair H150i. Yeah, all it was was a little link here at the top. Yeah. Notification. Update your firmware. Then I made the mistake of clicking update. And that's where it got stuck. 30 minutes and I had to reboot because the fans were making it right. That's why I rebooted because I couldn't stand the fan noise. Now I'm stuck with it. So you basically drop the <coughs> downloaded hex file onto the loader. So it says drag and drop. I have to do it several times, several attempts. Now connect to the bootloader and force the firmware upgrade in command window. 
reboot into normal windows mode and never use IQ <laughs> very risky I, the IQ software is garbage it is dangerous not garbage it's dangerous if you're running it exit it it's going to knock your system it's going to use up resources and it's going to prompt you to update and I know a lot of people are going to press that update thinking oh yeah it's asking me to update so it must be good see without researching you don't know the IQ software is dangerous it will knacker your system but you're only going to find this out after the fact and at the time oh it's there this IQ Corsair software just click the button easy no this is the consequence of that <sighs> now all this work I've got to do to fix this pain but I can't live with that racket I was tempted to disconnect the fans but then the temperatures are going to rock it without the fans it won't work even with one fan connected well if I just the one it will reduce the noise won't it is that yeah if I have one fan I could or two so you'd have to monitor so there's that solution you could disconnect one or two fans and depending on what happens to the temperatures, you'll have, you're going to have to downclock it. I'll downclock the 5950X to 125 watts maximum. Before, I was using that 230 watts. Obviously, I can. Because there's no regulation. Obviously, at full speed, the wattage is fine. Fine, but if you're going to disconnect, you're going to have to make sure you're crippling your system obviously the better solution would be to connect the fans to the motherboard now it's triple fan so it's got some kind of controller will it work if you connect the controller to the motherboard will it be able to power three fans that's the problem you might have to plug each fan individually to the motherboard you might have to do that and then you can set the fan curves from BIOS or from any of the other software such as the ASUS what's it called AI or some I don't know ASUS have their own motherboard software so there's a number of solutions the easiest would be if you got fans up going full speed like this one disconnect one or two fans and see what happens to the noise level and the temps my solution is this so I'll tell you my solution my current solution is this yeah it was reduced the noise it's not eliminated it and yes the temperatures do go up so what you do with this solution, this quick solution, you have to basically um, lower the thermal limit in your BIOS if you can. Right, the thermal limit on a 5950X is 90 degrees, I've lowered it to 84. What does that mean? That the maximum temperature will be 84 because I am restricting airflow now. But you can see it makes a significant difference to noise. So that's the quickest solution. Put a box over it and that will reduce the noise by some degree. Temperatures look, they're not reacted, but under load they will. Temperature stayed constant. It's going up slowly. So that's the first solution to H150i ramping on full speed which actually does reduce the noise second solution will be to you're gonna to have to do some work yeah I would say try this flashing it 
give it a try that might solve it if not then your only solution is to connect the fans directly to the motherboard you can either try and collect, connect the what's it got uh, it's got a little uh, fan controller you can try and connect that but that might not work you might have to connect all three individually and the, obviously the next easiest solution would be just disconnect one or two fans that would reduce the noise further yeah. so that's the solutions to the H150i from easiest to put a box over it to second easiest would be to disconnect one or two fans just easy that will reduce the noise then the next easiest will be to plug the fans into the motherboard either directly each fan or you could disconnect all three well then you have to plug them into the motherboard yeah three fans or try and get the controller to work off the motherboard which might be possible maybe your system's already got a controller in it fan controller RGB you could just plug your fans into that that would probably be better so there the series of how to solve the H150i crap hardware and software problem and after that you could try this yeah firmware update manual a lot of steps I'm gonna do that eventually but do check out my next videos as I get as I go through each of the steps I've done the easiest one here obviously the box and the cover is the easiest next one will probably be I'll disconnect a couple of at least one fan or two or maybe all three and connect them into the motherboard onto the motherboard that'd be easy so I'll do that so that's an easy fix connect the fans from the corset onto the motherboard hopefully the leads are long enough but I'm going to investigate the Corsair controller what powers it there you go Corsair H150i IQ garbage buyer beware